You are now watching The Lone Blown. Blown! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? You're back here for another episode of The Lone Blown, and that's starring your boy, me, Zach Lesage. What's poppin', y'all? I'm up here early on a Monday morning recording this Lucario Mail Metal Zation deck, and this deck's been tearing it up. Um, before I start, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, Jake Gearhart. Jake Gearhart's, I think, most of the inspiration when it comes to this list. Um, one of the handful of great Lucario Mel Metal players, including uh, Josh Sutherland, Gabriel Smart, among a few others. This deck has been tearing it up in the Darkness of Blaze format, and let me tell you why. Well, this deck has answers for most things in general, whether it's a Zamazenta V to deal with Eternatus VMAX or other pesky VMAX Pokemon. We have Zacian V, which is a great consistency card, energy acceleration card, and has a lot of powerful, it packs a powerful punch, let's just say that. Brave Blade, slicing through the competition. Lucario Melmetal is a great way to discard your opponent's energies and reduce damage for the rest of the game. So kind of think of this card as a reverse ADP. Everyone wants to ban ADP, but no one ever says about a Lucario Melmetal. So where ADP takes an offensive strategy, this is kind of reverse ADP where it takes a defensive strategy. Um, and then we have Galarian Stunfisk, and this card is not a meme. I mean, it looks like a meme. Well, it kind of looks like a bear trap, but uh, Snap Trap is a great way to discard your opponent's energies if, they, if you're able to keep them off board. But we're really using this card for its resistance and the fact that it can actually attack things like Decidueye. Um, so after, with a Metal Goggles attached to this, and with a full metal wall, and with its resistance, um, Decidueye is doing nothing to it, um, and Altaria is doing nothing to it. So this card kind of auto wins two pesky matchups in the formats. Um, other notable cards in this deck are uh, the inclusion of Crushing Hammers, and for some reason we have the wrong Arts of Crushing Hammer in here. I try on this channel to have the most uh, the, the, the most normal arts of everything, the newest arts, um, if possible. Um, so there's our new Arts of Crushing Hammer. Same card regardless, so you can use whatever copies of Crushing Hammer you have. Metal Saucer to power things up. Um, we have some healing aspect here with Mallow and Lana. And some damage reduction with Metal Goggles. Now, I'm not going for the Bronzong version of this list. Bronzong um, would be really good against Fire-type metagame. I think Fire is kind of a little bit all over the place right now. So I've included Weakness Guard Energy in this deck. And before I continue on, be sure to check out the description below this video. Um, it, it has a copy of this list that's copy and pasteable into PTCGO. Has some of the sponsors that help me um, support myself as an individual content creator. And uh, there's some discounts there as well, whether you're looking for a tournament in Hyperlux or you're looking for TC Evolutions, um, some damage uh, counters or anything like that. So feel free to check that out. Um, but yeah, this is our deck. Uh, kind of just uh, full metal wall, reduce damage, heal, and bring things up as you will. Um, pesky deck to play against. You can see it's, it is it is what it is. There's eight Pokemon in the deck, lots of trainers and the energies are pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, you wanna use Weakness Guard when you find a Fire-type deck and hope that they don't play Crushing Hammers themselves. So with Weakness Guard energy and Crushing Hammer in hand, let's go ahead and play some games with this deck, showing you how much it could be a powerhouse. I mean, I don't know what the games are gonna look like, but in my testing, I've, I've won a few tournaments in the Players' Cup, uh, two with this deck. So let's let's do it, let's check it out, and, and away we go. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be going second in this game. Nothing um, outrageous here, except our hand's a little bit on the weaker side. So we really wanna be looking in most matchups to try to get a Zacian to use Intrepid Sword to draw some cards. Um, in the ADP matchup, which this looks like it's ADP based off the deck box, we definitely want to do other things here. Um, we we wanna try to take away their energies as much as possible. The Stunfisk doesn't do... It's not really helpful in this case because if we're using um, Snap Trap to take away their energies, that's cool. But we need to get a Lucario Mel Metal out in this matchup for the most part. Um, so we are going to start off with Chaotic Swell. And I mean, I don't think there's any reason to attach Metal Goggles except just to get it out of our hand. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably just going to use Marnie and try to draw into something a little bit better than what we have going on right now. 
Um, so the fact that we got Lucario Melmetal GX and Energy a Crushing Hammer, like, these are some very ideal cards. Let's just double check to see what we're getting in with Crushing Hammer anyways. I mean, live by the Crushing Hammer, die by the Crushing Hammer. Lucario Melmetal lets attach an Energy. And I think we're pretty well set for next turn. So let's, let's vibe out here, peeps. See exactly what's going on. As long as we can keep them away from their ADP attack until we can get set up, we're we're pretty good here. They usually if you get their water energies in the scar pile, they just concede. Um we're just gonna pitch this hand away. Our hand's not worthwhile. So we can take their energies away. We do need Zation in this matchup. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead here and get our full metal wall off because we are able to take just more of their energies away from them. So minus 30 for the rest of the game. So now if they don't use altered creation, they can't knock out the Zation. So it's really a race of us just getting out Zation to attack um, against their Zation because they can't Oko our Pokemon really. Jeez, they're getting those energies fairly quickly. Um, we're, we're not going to really do much here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start powering up the Zation V and try to just get that set up so that we can take a knockout. So I'm going to go Intrepid Sword. Um, nothing really great there, but it's not going to work out great with Steel Fist attaching energies there. Um, Lucario Millmetal is not that efficient of an attacker. And I mean, I'm fine with Marnie. Now we don't need to worry about those Metal Saucers um, because those are pretty valuable. Like, we've already lost one in this game. Our hands, I mean, our hands not great, but it's acceptable. We might be a supporter top deck away from being in a really good position. And they've also wasted a lot of their energies. I know we've discarded some, but it's really one of those things of, I think we're just vibing right now. They're really, they're struggling here a little bit. The biggest thing that we need to worry about, okay, they're just gonna go and trap it sword. That's fine. Um, I am going to switch here. Quick ball away a boss. Gonna grab another Zacian. We don't really need Zamazenta, so if we ever find one of those in our discard pile, we're gonna, or a way to get those in our discard pile, I'm cool with it. Let's go Marnie, put their hand away. Dang, uh, let's go ahead and get some cards out of our deck with Tag Call. I'll, I will grab both of those. And I am going to go for Intrepid Sword on this one because we're one energy attachment away from getting it powered up on the other one. Oh, wow, as if we got two metal energies after getting all those energies. That's amazing. We're going to give our opponent the surprise phase. Like, what? Um, so, I mean, our goal is to really just knock out these Pokemon um, one by one. They're set up there. They're going to get the water energy. Yeah, they're really digging for it. I'm surprised they haven't found their water energy yet. Um, maybe they're going to go for another Dedenne, pitch this hand away. Um, it's possible that their water energy, they have only one in deck. Um, maybe with the other one being prized, or they just don't have access to a water energy. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a concession at some point, because their opponent's like getting uh, significantly far behind in this game. Um, so there's a switch. I mean, am I okay with switch? We'll see. We do want to get a supporter card back in our hand, so let's discard that. I will grab a boss orders. I'm okay with what we have going on here. There's a metal goggles. There's a metal goggles. Let's do this. Let's go Lily's Poke it all. Send that up, and this is really where the game is going to be very... It is what it is. Next turn, I'm going to go Switch, knock out the Zacian V. I mean, if they go for Intrepid Sword, I might knock out their active. But, I mean, our, our opponent's really not doing much here. <laughs> I actually don't think it's possible for them to win this game if... I'm not mistaken. Um, in order for them to win this game, they have to use Altered Creation. Uh, see, the Marnie might hurt us to a point where we might not be able to attack this upcoming turn. If worst comes to worst, we could always attack with Steel Fist. That will get a knock it if they don't play Big Charm. Uh, 
Yeah, so we're gonna go Malolana and knock it with Steel Fist. We don't get an energy. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm still fine with going Malolana this route. We're gonna do that. Um, I might as well just reduce damage in general. It's not bad by any means. Let's go ahead here. Steel Fist, 230 plus 50 is a knockout. And I will grab an energy. Um, just because I think it's worthwhile. So there's our first prize cards. And here's why I think that we can't lose this game. Because our opponent can't knock out any Pokemon in one hit beyond Galarian Stunfisk. So that means they need to get three attacks off in order to win this game. And that's doable for them, but we are two attacks off from winning this game. I can now retreat um, this Lucario Melmetal and attack with Zacian. The fact that I have two Zacians pretty much fully built up means that we should just be able to win this game automatically. Unless they play something crazy like Cape of Toughness. Yeah, there's that. I mean, I don't. I still don't think they know that they're not getting a knockout unless they play Tool Scrapper. Maybe they play Tool Scrapper. Um, that that would really allow them to win the game, actually. I, I should also factor in that Tool Scrapper is a card. Okay, and they do play Big Charm, which is a little bit different. So we can't get the knockout on their active Pokemon. Um, how many boss have they played here so far? They've played one boss, um, <clears throat> dealing with a pretty limited hand. I'm actually just going to retreat into Luke Metal, because I can kind of use Luke Metal as a shield. And we're all, we're all back to being normally powered up here. Let's go research. Let's crushing hammer that away. Let's take away the Zamazenta. There's nothing else we want to grab out of the deck. Um, just because they might play down Mawile or something like that. We don't want to put anything else down. Let's go Steel Fist, hit for 50, and let's get back an energy. So, I mean, I think we're pretty good here. Our opponents really use a lot of their resources, like Switch. So this might be the point where their Pokemon's a sitting duck and we're able to just knock them out. They might just use Chupa as a, as a vibe here. They're also running out of cards severely. Like, they're at five cards left in their deck. Um, we might be able to just deck our opponent out. We also have boss orders in our hand. So there's just a lot of resources. Like, our opponent's really out of energies here. Um... They might not even be able to attack again for the rest of the game. So you can see that our our offense has really our, our defense has really neutralized their offense. So we're gonna go there. I mean, going three for three with crushing hammers is insane. Um, I'm just gonna retreat here. We'll actually keep on that energy. And we're gonna boss orders up this. So now we're at one prize card, our opponent's at six. We can retreat, knock out anything, as long as they don't get a big charm. They're at two cards left in their deck. Very limited energies left. So I'm surprised our opponent's still in this, uh, staying in this game. Yeah, they're just gonna concede there, that makes sense. So we... Okay, so we lost the flip. Um, hopefully, yeah, they're gonna go first, so that means that they're likely not playing a fire type deck. Um, and this hand's like, okay. Um, I'm okay to just go Zacian. Um, likely we're going to get one heads on our crushing hammers if we do it off of 50-50 uh, odds. Seems like it's in our favor. Oh, we're playing against Trevnor. Um, interesting. I don't necessarily know. This might be like the Mewtwo Trevnor deck. So, might be a difficult matchup. Not entirely sure. Um, maybe they're energy reliant? Or is it, do they get their energies from Rotom? Really weird matchup. I haven't played against this deck at all yet. Okay, so the air balloon's not really going to help them. They're discarding a boss. I'm cool with them discarding um, cards like that. Just trying to see. I mean, that's a hefty cost to draw some cards. I don't know what else they're looking for. Okay, um, let's go ahead here and 
Go crashing hammer away. Zamazent is only good against VMAX Pokemon. I don't see how that's going to be remotely good here. So let's go ahead, attach the energy, let's go Marnie. And I mean, I think we're probably in an okay spot, maybe. Um, let's put down another Zacian V just in case our opponent does something wild. And let's go Intrepid Sword. So we did get another energy and we're ready to start attacking next turn. I mean, straight Zacian as an attacker is always fine. Um, it's just really, this is a matchup that I don't know a whole bunch about. Because um, it's a deck that hasn't really seen a whole bunch of success. I think Azul might have been playing it for a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they started discarding Pokemon. Yep, there's a Horror House, so they might stop us from playing cards from our hands. I mean, I'm fine with using Intrepid Sword. Um, if they want to use their GX attack to try to knock out a Zacian, that's fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I might just see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's that's a knockout there. Let's go. Um, yeah, I'm fine just discarding a boss orders. Maybe they'll just see what we're doing here. Shouldn't have grabbed that energy. I would have had a better chance off Intrepid Sword. Um, let's just go Intrepid Sword. I mean, we still got an energy there. It's not ridiculous. They might just go for a gigantic Poltergeist. Maybe. The fact that they put Ndidi down um, is helpful. this uh from your discard pile yeah so the rotom's not really gonna help out here poltergeist is uh gonna take a huge attack if we could if we could draw into a luke battle a tag call something like that i'd be extremely happy here um that's that's not what we're looking for so let's go crushing hammer here might as well attack I don't want to attach my turn. I'm going to go Marnie here first. If we can still get out Luke Metal, I'm going to try to do it, get Luke Metal out. Um, that's not going to work either. we got a very poor hand off of that. Zamazent is going to do nothing, so let's just take that out of our hands. And let's go Intrepid Sword here. Um, really not great hands this game. I mean, this is one of the issues that I have with this deck. There's no Crobat, there's no Dedenne, and obviously I understand why there's not these things. Um, it's, it's just one of those decks where I, it, it can sometimes fall into inconsistencies um, just due to this. Other times it's a very strong dominating deck. I don't know what our opponent's going to do here. Are they going to rip cards out of our hand with Nightwatch? Okay. Like, I'm cool with that. It would have been better to get some other things if you ask me. I'm just gonna go research. I need to get... I need to get this game going on. Um, totally thought I was playing down Lily's Pokedoll, but uh, I guess we'll take that. Um, and our opponent's very close to just winning this game. Um, so I'm probably just going to retreat here. Send that up, and then I'm going to go for Intrepid Sword. Um, again, not really what we're looking for here. But we'll see what our opponent decides to go for. Um, I'm actually okay with that Marnie. Our hand's nothing spectacular here. That hand's also nothing spectacular here. And I mean, it's only going to get worse, right? Send this up. Our opponents already used their GX attack, so that is something to note. Um, we are putting ourselves at, going to be putting ourselves at zero cards. So I, a top deck of a research or something would be very cool. But I think our opponent has us fully locked here. 
Watch over is likely not going to matter either. And there goes our entire hand. So they, they have us locked in this. Let's see what we get here. I mean, the tag call is probably cute. Let's go Mallow Lana, switch. And then let's draw some other cards with uh, Intrepid Sword here. So even though we have a Quick Ball and most decks would be like, oh, we can get an Eldegoss, we can get a Dedenne, we can get a Crobat. This is an issue that this deck has. Um, and yeah, they're going to do that, take away our hands to the point where like, I don't think we're able to win this game anymore because um, our opponent can always get back energies with Rotom. Um, so it's never something that's realistic unless they only play one Rotom. I'm not entirely at. There's another Rotom as we speak. So even if, if we're able to get off a full metal wall, our opponent should be prepared with that Rotom. And maybe they know this matchup, I'm assuming, definitely if you're playing a different deck, most different decks have outs versus the other top decks. Maybe if I play this matchup another five times, I can go in there with a much better plan. Um, better, like, I can bench down a Luke Metal. I still lose, like, our best chance at winning this right now is this has two retreat costs and send that up and then we're going to try to go for intrepid sword um i mean that's really not the worst hand that i've ever got off intrepid sword but our opponent might just have a switch here and we might just lose the game we really need like a metal energy and we need a boss order to bring that up um yeah, they got the Mallow Alana. We'll give our opponent the well played. And unfortunately, this game it did not go our way. But y'all saw the hands, and we're just gonna we're gonna show it how it is, because um, that's how it goes with the with this channel. We try to show the real game. So this deck completely took us under lock. Maybe we'll cover this channel or this deck in the channel um, going forward. So you saw how the deck worked in two games with us using the full metal wall and attacking with Zation. Um, we didn't get a chance to play against a VMAX deck and not all VMAX decks are very popular right now, but we definitely would have just walled with the Zamazenta V and tried to isolate any counters that we had um, that our opponent could offer there at all. So, I mean, it, it's definitely one of those things where we have a deck that has solid matchups across the board. Um, so really it's one of those things, try this deck out, see if you like it. It's one of those decks where you either love it or hate it. And I mean, in the last game, sure, you could you could definitely hate it. It's not always in our best interest to playing Luke Metal. Um, normally when Luke Metal does well, it has to hide for a little bit before it can do well again because most players adapt to the strategies. As you can even see in the ADP, they were playing Big Charms and Marnies, things that tip, they weren't playing um, a week ago or two weeks ago. I um, mean, that really helps out against this deck. I mean, this deck is still incredibly strong and a lot of the top players in the game have been playing it to great success at the Players' Cup and other online events. So that being said, don't forget to check out the description where there's the list that you can copy and paste right into PTCGO. Uh, there's some of the sponsors there, so be sure to check out any of the links out there, my social media, and some discounts for you. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content so far, and subscribe to the channel for more great things to come. So that being said, I'm gonna dip out, but thank you so much everyone for watching and have yourself an absolutely great week. Peace out, y'all. Use code the Lone Blown to save when you're registering for Hyperlux events. It will save you on your registration and there's some large prizes. Be sure to check it out. Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. We got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks and have yourself a great one.